Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Teltonica Network's webinar. Thank you for joining. Today, we will have a session where we will discuss our newest portfolio edition. Let's begin today's webinar, uh, where we will be discussing our newest portfolio edition, the TRB 256 device. And let's begin uh, with a question. Do you remember the TRB 255 device? A tiny and BIoT seller gateway that offers a wide range of interfaces and GNSS. Actually, this device was introduced in our portfolio almost four years ago back in 2020. It was promising a great opportunities for low speed connections. And I have a one question for you, by the way. Have you ever tried using TRB? To, uh, TRB255 for your IoT solutions. And since you cannot turn on your microphones, let me launch a short poll and hear your answer. So please choose the most honest one uh, you can find on the screen. It would be really nice to know your opinion. Okay, I see the table going on. Okay, we have some people uh, who are aware of this device but haven't chance to use it before. So this is why we are having this webinar session for uh, a new device. Maybe this will be the uh, this would be the one you you will be able to try. And we also have uh, people that already had some solutions and projects implemented uh, with uh, with TRB to uh, two fifty five. So thank you for sharing uh, your opinion, and let's move on. So today. Uh, we will have uh, this webinar se session dedicated for TRB256 device. This is the, our newest Teltonica Networks portfolio edition, and this device is an upgraded version of previously discussed TRB255 that can be applied to even broader range of IoT solutions, which we will cover during today's webinar. But firstly, I believe we need to see uh, and find the most significant differences between those devices. So the first and the most noticeable thing is the housing changes. The TRB255 device on the left of your screen um, and TRB256 are like twins in terms of their measurements and weight, but they differ in color. Same as with the newest switches in our portfolio, like TSW202, uh, TSW114, or for example, router root M50, we are switching our devices from a silver to a black aluminum housing option. And this is done not only as a design improvement, but also because this new type of, of housing helps us, helps Teltonica Networks to be more sustainable in terms of improved laser engravering on devices and fever stickers using. Moving forward, the TRB256 will be using MediaTek CPU instead of a Qualcomm one. And this change is very similar to what we have done in the past with our root 40 device and root 41 or for example, root 9 series devices. Of course, MediaTek CPU provides our devices with more RAM memory. On the other hand, Teltonica Networks, uh, we always strive to maintain high product quality and to supply our devices uh, to our clients as quickly and as flexible as possible. So our R&D teams always keeps an eye on the market and components availability to adapt quickly. As you can see, Sometimes it really means that we must design a completely new device. And as you know, for the past few years, Teltonica Networks have launched more than 20 new products. So being flexible um, means and helps us to provide you the most uh, suitable connectivity devices without any interruption. So yes, we have TRB255 in our portfolio, and also now we have TRB256 in our portfolio. So is that all you may ask at the moment? And I have to say that definitely and absolutely no. TRB256 has one and a new exclusive feature to offer to our clients. No other device in our portfolio has this functionality and capabilities yet. So let's see what this device hides. So our new TRB256 device has a dedicated LTE module. Besides all the standards LTE bands supported, 
DRB256 will have three new LTE band supports. And I'm talking about B31, B72, and B73 bands. Also, we know this as LTE 450, uh, 400 megahertz spectrum, and uh, for example, 400 megahertz mobile network support. So with these bands, DRB256 can be utilized in 450 megahertz spectrum for LTE IoT solutions. As well, we can call it LTE 450 um, or, or any uh, uh, other uh, synonym we can use. So what is 450 megahertz band, you may ask? So first of all, it's a type of wireless communication based on a 450 megahertz frequency. So this band operates in a lower frequency spectrum compared to a typical uh, public 4G networks, which we uh, possibly know for 900 megahertz, uh, 1800 megahertz, or even higher. So the physics of 400 megahertz cellular network offers exciting opportunities by providing long range connectivity support with deeper signal penetration. And this 450 uh, megahertz cellular band has quite long history because in some regions, this band was originally used for the first generation of analog mobile phones known as advanced mobile phone system. Later on, a 450 megahertz spectrum was opened to operators or for example, other vendors, primarily those requiring critical communications over longer distances. One example could be, of course, military communication lines, but we need to understand that uh, the usage of this uh, spectrum can differ by country or, for example, region because of their local regulations and technological developments. If we uh, would like to know uh, the recent situation, uh, to this date, 450 megahertz is mostly commercial, private 4G network, meaning that mobile operators or any other vendors holds the 450 uh, megahertz usage license. So for example, LTE 450 is a commercial private network in more than 10 countries at the moment. For example, Argentina, Denmark, Finland, Germany, Hungary, Norway, or Sweden. And we have around 20 countries worldwide that actively use LTE 450, uh, while in total we have around 70 countries countries that support 450 megahertz spectrum, uh, but for example, at the moment they are only testing or are at the early stages of development of this technology. And of course, I already mentioned that 450 has a good benefit of enabling the signal to travel over the longer distance and penetrating obstacles better. So these characteristics make this band suitable for industries such utilities, mission critical and remote connectivity that requires reliable, strong and robust connectivity in their solutions. So as you can see uh, in this graph, uh, which, was, uh, which was recently posted by 450 Alliance, which is a public association of 450 uh, network users and vendors, uh, it shows the most popular de uh, deplo uh, deployments of LTE 450 applications uh, to this day. And almost 35% of all the solutions at the moment are dedicated to the utility industry, and this sector is still ex expanding day by day. So public safety and mission critical applications hold the second place with almost 25% uh, of all the solutions in LTE 450. Remote connectivity in uh, uh, remote locations far away from uh, base stations is also increasing because um, uh, because it includes connectivity of public space, spaces such as healthcare or schools in remote locations. Other sectors uh, such as transport, industrial, or even agriculture are still evolving, not having so much solutions at the moment. Uh, and should increase in the future because of all the benefits LTE 450 offers. So as I already mentioned the benefits of 450, let's uh, quickly overview a few of them. And the first one is, of course, wider reach and deeper signal penetration. Because of the low frequency radio waves, they can penetrate deeply into the buildings or even below the ground. Also, these waves pass easily through obstacles such as walls. 
Secondly, it offers greater solution security because private networks are more resistant to any outside threats. Also, security layers can be even more improved by adding additional security features such as VPNs. Also, by using LTE 450, your network will be less crowded because less devices and solutions will, will be operating in this uh, particular spectrum. It makes LTE 450 a more reliable choice for a critical communication where consistent connectivity is essential. And lastly, as I mentioned a few times today, LTE 450 can travel long distances, and it means that a single base station uh, can cover larger area of the solutions, so your solution do not require to be the close uh, to the base station and to, ma to maintain that strong connectivity. And here we have our first use case uh, I want to introduce you today, and it's about smart grid connectivity, uh, because LTE 450 is a very great choice for a smart grid applications. And the first reason to that is why smart, smart grids can benefit from uh, 450 megahertz networks is the ability to leverage private LTE networks. Uh, of course, uh, this is beneficial because uh, those applications require high security standards. Private networks can offer privileged access to networks without the need uh, to be on the same network with the publicly available uh, LTE bands. Also, 450 megahertz spectrum meets the broad coverage, low power, and low cost needs for the utility sectors. And by adding our TRB256 device to this uh, solution, which is here, it can enable SCADA systems uh, while a wide range of interfaces, such as serial interfaces, can connect substation controllers easier. Uh, on top of that, uh, wide range of industrial protocols such as Modbus, uh, MQTT, helps to achieve energy grid modernization and data collection sending more easily. All in all, 400 megahertz spectrum combines a long range connectivity and security, while TRB-256 and RMS facilitates the efficient and secure management and remote access for th that critical infrastructure. Moreover, uh, it's very important to understand that LTE 450 supports CAT-M and narrowband IoT technology and all common uh, communication uh, functions, including voice, data, remote monitoring. So it does not set any li limits for any potential use cases. To prove that, let's go through one more uh, use case. In this topology, you can see power meters that are placed in the basement of residential buildings in the remote area. Quite a common situation, right? Uh, but we also know that utility companies require the efficient monitoring of thousands of meters like this. And them being in remote places far from the base stations or in depths with the buildings, for example, in those basements, does not help a lot. So deploying LTE 450 for such a situ situation is a great option to consider because it offers better signal strength and you can shift uh, your data traffic away from the public networks. Also, our TRB256 gateway here brings even more value to the solution. It can connect energy meters to serial or Ethernet interfaces, depending on the type of the meter. And then gateway collects the data from meters and sends the data to the client cloud or monitoring uh, system over B31, for example, safely and securely. For data collection, again, we have HTTP, MQTT, DLMS, uh, and Modbus protocols, so the variety to choose from. And dual SIM connect, uh, functionality adds and hates redundancy to ensure data is sent without any interruptions. So keep in mind that TRB256 can also operate on other LTE bands, meaning that device is very versatile and adaptable for a variety of use case scenarios. So for example, if similar use case is required for your client, but they are not planning to utilize 450 megahertz networks, uh, you can still use TRB256 uh, without any uh, doubt. So since we discussed where and how this device can be used, let's quickly overview uh, the TRB256 specifications. And first of all, we have uh, 
uh, stellar connectivity. This is a stellar gateway that supports uh, 4G LTE CATAM1 and uh, narrowband IoT technologies. And it's very important to mention here that NB2 is just an update of narrowband 1, offering just improved features like higher data rates, uh, lower latency, and mobility support. Also, TRB256 comes with dual SIM functionality with a standard switching scenarios as in other our uh, dual SIM devices. Moreover, to support LTE for 50 applications, a dedicated mobile antenna with 450 megahertz support needs to be attached to this gateway. We, we have this new accessory included to our accessories portfolio because antennas are not included in the standard package of this device. Also, if 450 megahertz network is not a, a case for your, for your solution or your client solution, then a standard mobile antenna from our accessories portfolios fits perfectly. So you can choose uh, the, the antenna you need. Our clients really loved TRB2 series for being them rich in interfaces. And the same stays here with the new TRB256 device. Apart from one Ethernet port, it will also have, have a 16-pin connector that allows connectivity of configurable inputs, outputs, RS-232 and RS-485. So you can connect almost anything and provide connectivity without any additional stress. And we often receive the questions about how devices are powered on. So TRB256 can be powered on by the two pin connector on the same 16 pin industrial terminal block. While the input voltage range for this device is from nine to 30 VDC and the maximum power consumption of this device does not exceed 3.5 uh, watts. The most uh, important and the most interesting part for myself is, of course, to talking about uh, our Ruta S, uh, because with our operating system, uh, Ruta S TRB256 brings even more additional value to the customers. Our Ruta S supports numerous industrial protocols, including BACnet. OPC UA, Modbus, Data to Server, DNP3, and DLMS. These protocols are used in a wide range of sectors such as manufacturing, utilities, automation, uh, or for example, building systems. This makes TRB256 a versatile gateway and allows you to use it almost in any industrial use case. And keep in mind that some of these protocols such as DNP3 or DLMS uh, can be found in the package manager of our uh, Ruta's. So don't forget to check the package manager section in our web UI or just use a search bar, which is, more, which is actually at the moment one of the most uh, favorite functions uh, of our web UI uh, for most users. So with a wide range of supported industrial protocols, uh, TRB256 can be a perfect choice, not only for 450 megahertz networks, but also for any other use cases. Remote monitoring of the manufacturing facility is one of them. So TRB256 uh, CATAM1 and NBIoT cellular gateway uh, would be more than enough for remote monitoring purposes and data collection in such environment. A wide range of interfaces uh, helps to connect PLC, HMI, uh, for example, via serial interfaces, and then Ethernet port can connect heating, ventilation, and conditioning systems, which can also be adjusted on the temperature and humidity sensors uh, for data collection uh, to TRB-256. To, to enhance remote monitoring, a TRB-2 uh, device can also initiate events reporting, to, by using uh, inputs out output jug juggler. So all in all, this setup will help you to connect old and new technology uh, in manufacturing facilities and ensure proper monitoring and alerts for ongoing processes in manufacturing facility. Of course, uh, we need to stop a little bit here uh, because precise real-time data or HMI video streaming would not be 
sufficient for LTEM category, but it will be reliable in terms of data collection and sending for such solution. And we named tier B256 as a device with a greater range and broad application capabilities because it's a reliable choice for many of industrial uh, use cases in LTE networks. As tier B supports both an NB-IoT and LTM connectivity, the cellular gateway can be a perfect uh, companion uh, and maintaining robust connectivity in IoT solutions that include legacy machinery, uh, various uh, automation systems, or components that rely on, on old 2G or 3G networks. And actually, we put a great emphasis today on 450 megahertz spectrum, uh, but I want to remind you and I want to highlight uh, that this cellular gateway is just as well suited for the use case that work aside for, from this 450 megahertz spectrum. And I believe it was a quite nice finishing touch for TRB256, but actually I'm not finishing yet uh, because we have something more to explore today. You probably already know that Teltonica networks often have launches of more than one uh, product at the same time. Uh, we previously did the same with the TSW2 series. We often love to launch two or even more products uh, to our portfolio. And I mean, uh, we introducing families, uh, we introducing uh, more than one device uh, at a single time. And actually the same happens today because I also want to show you a tier B246 device. This device is an updated version of another tier B2 series device, the tier B245. It's a dual SIM LTE CAT4 gateway and it will, and it will only have the housing color and the CPU change that we discussed at the beginning of this webinar. And since this TRB246 has no other significant changes or improvements in regards of hardware or software, I really encouraging you to visit the Teltonica Network's website and check this device uh, under the product section uh, on our website. And I'm pretty sure you will like it as much as I do. So please do it after this webinar. Uh, because this device is worth checking and it's very promising for uh, many IoT solutions, for example, if you require more speeds. So thank you, thank you all for joining me today uh, and let's meet in the future webinars of Teltonica Networks. I wish you uh, a good day uh, and let's meet in the future. Bye.